just did this little shit, man. It was fun, man. Shout out to all the girls come supporting us, you know, man. I'm a new member too, man. Slutty Boy just got in this shit, man. Think about it, baby. <laughs> Have y'all from me to the old man? I want to show her uh, a story of me. I told my nigga that she was gonna be rich forever. I want to show her a different side of me. Dexter, a white. Six is Levi. Famous Dex caught on video beating his girlfriend. Since I hear that, I a story. I'm the type of people don't come around and like that all. Music was a way out. <laughs> get your books, man. I gotta get your books for this, I promise you. One thing about Dexy, love to be Dexy. I never try to be anybody else, not this, not that. I always just be me. I do music, I'm an entertainer, I curate. I always been myself, I never try to be nobody else. And he said, like, once you be yourself, you can go farther. So that's, that's who I am, I'm Dexter, a proud father. I do music and curate. <laughs> Who is that on the pillow right there? Mm -hmm. No, turn around. Turn around. Who is that right there? My daddy. Who is that? My little brother. Who is that? My big sister. Who is that? Me. All y'all, this is your birthday for your, your Gucci party. All y'all had Gucci. Gucci socks, Gucci shirt. Then y'all had the Jordans on when y'all came out. I had on pants. <laughs> I love you, baby. Growing up as a kid, he always was like a leader. He always wanted to be the man. He always had his own way, own style to dress, own everything. When he first started off, he was playing basketball. He think he can beat everybody. Well, there's something special about this guy, cause he was like the first one of the first people I ever seen wearing like mismatched shoes. And you know what I'm saying? He was just a neighborhood kid, but he had two pair of Jordans on, two different colors. I always thought that was special, but I would never do it, you know? You know, we from the same neighborhood. Inglewood, you know what I'm saying? It's a little neighborhood in Chicago. That was like the, the guys from the hood where you like, you want to keep them out of trouble. So you do whatever it takes to keep them on the court or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Back then, I used to referee the tournaments. So I had him in there. He was started off at seven years old. What were you no. doing before rap? What, what, what were I was you hooping. Huh? I was hooping. Oh, you nice to hoop? No, real nice. I made Shaq's son say, take that down. <laughs> Shaq's son told me to take your video down. Man, it looks so bad. That like, bad? That bad. It was basketball. It was basically best. I put him in AAU tournaments, everything. I just thought he was going to be basketball then. Dex won like six. Like five, six championships in a row, they never lost. Basketball was my first love. I picked up the ball on the spree. You know what I'm saying? I thought a vertical pole, no running. You know what I'm saying? What is some of your fondest moments of Dexter growing up? Me going to see him play basketball. And he just being around me. My my my, my uncles and my uncle, my dad guy, and my brother over there right now. They, they got we we always have like you know some Thanksgiving dinners and stuff and all that. We always like bring it up. Used to have a ball. You was three. Used to cry. Used to cry, man. Used to do this little one move, just spin. You know? <laughs> um, I was gonna go to a JUCO JUCO college and play ball in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Like it was getting there. That's why everybody thought he was going to be playing ball. You know what I'm saying? We used to be in Argon Park, and then they used to have these little tournaments. So we got this pastor on period that, that get blocks. So the ref, you know, going to everybody who don't care, you guns, whatever, however, dropping boxes of jerseys off. Y'all guys want to play some ball? And it's called a block piece turn. So the first year he had it, Guess who let the game win a shot? Well, they had just won the basketball tournament. 
Dex hit the game winning three pointer in overtime. For the championship. It was like Rocket Park, too. Oh my God. A little kid that loved to play sports, you know what I'm saying? That's what he was doing. He got talent. He got talent. He's actually good. I hit the game winning shot for my brother, man. I, I, I hit the game winning shot for my brother. And then I, I lost him in the gun fight. Chicago police confirmed there were 41 shootings across the city this holiday weekend. The jump in shootings close to double the number from this time a year ago. A total of 12 people have been shot and killed here in Chicago. Coming from where I come from, man, it's tough, man. It's tough. Look into the history of gang violence. Chicago always been the top of the top. You know what I'm saying? Coming to Inglewood, it's easy to get into trouble, hard to get out. If you don't, if you don't try to take care of the kids, the streets will take care of them for you. Inglewood probably was like the murder capital of Chicago. So many people dying. You had the little JoJo thing going on. It was just like, it was really like that. You know what I'm saying? The murder rate was. Has it been in years? You was either hooping and hitting the white or selling the white. When I'm sure. <laughs> People that's not from here don't understand Chicago is different. I'm gonna put it that way, it's not a lot to do. So if you're gang banging, or if you're hooping, or if you're into music, that's what you have to do coming out of Englewood. You are your environment. You are what you see. Like in my community, we only have McDonald's checkers. I never in my life seen a Shake Shack in the hood. I never in my life seen a Chick-fil-A in the hood. It's certain things that, that, that we're not used to, that we're not valued to, so we don't see that as something that we can have. We see that as luxury. We see, as people see going to a hotel and having a jacuzzi as luxury, not just a weekend thing you chill with your girl. People seeing traveling as luxury. We're not traveling to a different country, we're traveling to a different state. We gotta think to ourselves to be something bigger because that's what everybody else thinks. That's why so much violence is so, is so dangerous because people don't think that they can be anything better than what they are. They just think they're gonna be a street nigga for the rest of their life and stun on people in their hood and get a new car and we'll pull up on rims. But none of that shit matter because you're never gonna be shit or have shit in life. People would be like, why can't you help yourself? How are we gonna help ourselves? We don't got no dads. They in jail. They selling drugs, they in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Mom trying to take care of three, four kids. She can't even do that. Then the son trying to take care of himself. How you gonna take care of yourself legally with $12 an hour? You have to get in the streets and really get to it. I don't really know nobody who really came from the mud that can't say they ain't had illegal money to really push them to go the legal route. Well, I had just gave them some money. They were going downtown. Him, my other son, and one of his friends. And the uh, old lady they was on the bus. Back then, this one, I guess, snatch iPhones off and run. And they tried to snatch the iPhone and they got caught. He had got locked up. He missed his mama funeral. I'm a mama's boy, definitely. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mama's boy. Oh, I'm a mama's boy. Because that's all I really like had, you know, in my corner was my mama. It's Diana out. Diana means that's my mom's name. Everything you get from me, you get from my mom. Everything. Everything you get from me, you get from my mom. I sell switch and all that, but you know. You get that. My mama had my mama had my mama had awesome energy. She'd man murder be my assistant manager and she'd be my manager. My queen. When he was growing up, she used to always try to take him to like the stores that wasn't name brand. I used to tell her, no, I'm gonna take him to a store that has name brand clothes. And she used to always tell me, if I ever leave you, you're gonna have to take care of him. And you're gonna have to make sure he have everything he got. And I told her I will. But when she left, I was hurt, I was devastated. I told her, he didn't know. I told him the next morning. Like when we know she had breast cancer, it was just like, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't even read anything like, I'm not saying I don't want to talk, but I can't I can even get the word out because it's just like it's shocking and it's, and it's real, like it's still like it's real, you know? We can talk about things that's on the same level because I lost mine too. Because my mom, when I was five, got brutally murdered. That's something that I still battle with at 45. So, like I told him, that's something that'll never just leave. 
but you grow from it to get stronger. And my thing is, like I told him, whatever you think about doing something negative, take two to five minutes. Like, man, am I making my mom proud by doing this? Disobedient child showing your days. You know what I'm saying? She gave, she gave me wisdom. My mama told me how to be an obedient child, man. No disrespect your elders. Don't never think you're better than the next person because the, the quicker God give it to you, take it from me. I come from that type of mama. I come from that type of mama when, when, when you play clean and she come, Ma, the play clean. Make it dirty and clean it up. I come from that, yeah. We're gonna talk about God. You know, God do things in ways. He'll close one door and open up 10. When he had got locked up, I tried to go get him out because I told him his mom was had passed. And the sheriffs gave me a number and I tried to bond, you know, bond him out, but they didn't let him do it. So he got out that Friday. I guess God was working with him and he took off from there. This is my daughter's birthday. It's my son, it's baby Dex. That's baby T. Yo, girl, you did a good job, too. I love you, too, by the way. And there's baby J. That's Janayla, Taylor, and Dexter. He the third. I'm a junior. Y'all think he come that way? Let me show you how much talent she got. Dude, I just want to say so much. I thank you. I keep these pills in my room with me every day because I know my mom watching me as I sleep, as I... You know what I'm saying? Shower as I'm in there. So I just want to take my time out to thank God and thank her. I love you. Thank you so much, baby. I love you so much. You're the best. When did it happen though? Like, what was the first, like, okay, this is about to really take off? Drift like, from my walk, the song. Mm -hmm. I did that song, and my man just standing back there right now. I heard it on the radio in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Broke out tears. I said, God, here we come. I say, oh my God, What's up, everybody? My name is Laka. Pretty much a videographer slash producer. We done been through Dex, Polo G, Juice World, Chance, Lil Dirk, G Herbo. Literally anybody from Chicago that's ever came out of Chicago done shot either a low budget running gun video with me or a big budget video one way or another. I geek on the bitch, 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 I geek on the bitch. I remember the first time he came and met my mom and she was just like, because <laughs> his pants were so low and he got tattoos on his face. He was like a brother to me, you know what I'm saying? Like I was in Inglewood every day. I'm not from Inglewood. I'm not trying to ride around Inglewood, but I was down Morgan with him. But we shot like eight videos in that one house, you know? A gig, a gig, a gig on the bitch. A gig, a gig, a gig on the bitch. What's her name? A Dexter? Yeah, a white? Oh, I see the star. Oh, hot. A white? Yeah. Oh, hot. Oh, a pop up here. Oh, what? Yeah. Um, he had a whole bunch of little hits. Um, Hoes Mad. Two times. Shot all that before the label came in. Shout out to the Migos and, 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 and Sauce Walker. When they did that, um, that feature together, and I saw all the animation, I was like, I said, Cole, we got to do this video just like this. It's called. He was consistent, dropping videos back to back. And that's what got him where he was hard work, consistency. People don't know, like, when Dex actually started, like, moving, and he was like, all right, big bro, you my manager. I had got him his first show. You know what I'm saying? I think it was for like 1500 I had got him his first, very first show. I didn't know nothing about like having security. I didn't know nothing about booking flights. I didn't know about breaking, how to break the money down or nothing. I just say, okay, Dex, I got you this money. 
I'm gonna rent the car, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna go. Fucking time, bro. Shotgun. No, I got shotguns. Shotgun. What? Oh my fucking god. god, bro. Yeah. Fuck you, time. And he just took it to a whole nother level. And gave these people something that they weren't doing because it was a lot of drill music going on. So everybody was trying to kill each other. And that's what they was rapping about. And that's come out. And he, he sent me this song. And he was in a dance, and I was like, boy, you a fool. And then, like, Dex used to hang with these these guys, FBG, Duck, and, and now he little squad. He used to be in the videos. Like, yeah, Dex used to be dancing, like, before he was to start rapping. I go by DJ Sean, famous Dex official DJ. Chief will be in it. <laughs> Bitch. He pulled up on me at a basketball game, and, like, ever since then, we've been cool. I seen his potential in the music. He just needed the elevation. His dance kind of went global. It was on, it was on NBA 2K. So everybody was trying to do the drippy, drippy this, drippy that. So as that was going, he still dropping video, video, video. That on top of his internet, on top of me putting it together, everything just connected in one. Um, we had three remixes to uh, drift from my walk. Lil, Lil Yachty, we got Sauce Walker on, and then just the uh, uh, original, the Dex. Shout out my boy Sauce Walker, man. See yourself, man. OG Mako. Fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sauce Walker, he was he actually re reached out to Famous Dex at first. Fuck with you, know, man. For real, we gonna make history with this shit. What? Sauce Walker, big role model in my, in my career, career. The energy they have, man, that spark. People don't have that spark like 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 I do. They don't have that mindset to want to win and go. Your DJ, you know, he always said a lot of dope shit about you. Like the moment he met you, he was a star. Oh, Sean. Sean, yeah. You said a DJ like you just anybody. That's my brother. That's what I'm saying. That's, That's I'm saying. my heart. Ain't no, it, it's not no Dex without Sean. He didn't really know um, the difference between being street and being mainstream. So that's where I stepped in and helped him be mainstream. I got a song called OK Dex. My specialty move, everybody, like Ross and me, everybody got specialty move. My specialty move is just to take my, my, my pants off and get into my extra job. I got a lot of supreme draws, man. I look back at Sean Kitchen, everybody was just like. This boy is a motherfucking star. Album is number 12 on the country right now, you know what I'm saying? I jumped in the crowd. Man, I had to let him know, like, this Dex here. I'm here. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, bro. Baby girl, watch how you move. First stage dive was in Paris. We took that, took it on the road to the old man goddamn toy, first tour. Then we took it to Rolling Loud. I dropped one. Shout out to Aesop Rocky for Pick It Up, you know, Pick It Up went platinum. It's a different energy when we touch that stage, like. That's when we really showed them, like, you can be who you want to be. We made a lot of history with the Rolling Loud. All right, so speak about this Japan record oh, yeah, and the Japan and, uh, movement, man. Oh, so, 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 ladies, so we, we can't go to Japan. I just dropped it, 50,000. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, but I got a new single. It's going, it's going so crazy right now. It's my first single like that's doing with major numbers. Like, ladies, whenever you, whenever you depressed and everything, just, just tap on Japan. You know what I'm saying? That's it. One time, one time, one time, one time. Last time, I promise. Everybody want to get to go yard too? <laughs> Copy that, niggas. Hey, yeah, I Dexter. You what? AP Davis and the heavy. You what? I know, it's like that cook on my... One time. She like that work on my extras. I got it. Last time. The album, we can't, we can't fuck with the album. Come on, solo. Uh, uh, Smoking dope, real heavy, got that bitch baby. I can't trust her, I don't love her, run into the fed. Uh, we just bring the energy. We just bring the drill, we bring the realness, the pain. He usually tells stories or he tell about uh, everything that goes on Chicago. From, from the drugs to children dying to 
Just energy sometimes on some songs, positive things. You know what I'm saying? I'm from um, Chicago. Yeah. Sold out show tomorrow. I'm the headliner of the headliners. My first time in New Zealand. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Dex was a, my second youngest artist I've ever really been with. Work with these new artists, Dirk, Dex, you know, Polo, and, just, and Trippy Red. They're so energetic. You have to be in shape to work with these guys. Doing a rolling louds, touring, they're crowd surfing, they're hanging off raptors, they're climbing the walls. There's a video on YouTube where he was climbing, he was climbing the, the ceiling of, of this venue, and while he was stepping, st step by step, he was actually standing on my shoulders, and I had to move the crowd, you know what I'm saying? Dex like a loose crew, you know what I'm saying? You you link with Dex, you don't know what's gonna happen today. Let's put it like that. It's a new experience every time you win. Hey, yeah, what? Thank bro, all of my genius. What? Trying to rob me, I'm a boss. What, what? I, I just popped me a bean. Oh, got a bad bitch on the phone. My name is Gaston Pinkney. I'm a professional bodyguard, licensed, insured. Well, I've been watching out the Dex since 2017. Well, I started in 96 with Genuine Wine and when he's uh, promoting Pony. I was with Kells for over a year and a half. And, you know, left that situation and uh, Jay presented about uh, Dex. The last song I'm doing is Champion. When you said Champion, that's Dex. Dex is Japan. Dexter is, oh yeah, oh what? Oh, that's Dexter, my bad. No, no, that's my bad, that's my bad, bro. <laughs> I got you. You don't have the inkling what we go through out today. Dealing with crowds, airports, paparazzi. Got the whole airport like Dexter! Pushing through here, you pushing through there, you chopping malls, fan base. It gets crazy. You good, bro? Hey, hey, who grabbed my nipple? That's Jay, bro. The craziest scene that me and Dex ever experienced on the road is we was in Denver, Colorado. He had some people around him that was kind of headaches. We on the expressway going back to our hotel. The manager, he had got a call like 10 minutes after we left, 15 minutes. And on the other end, he's like, man, they just shot up the truck. I'm like, what? They shot up the truck. I think that truck got hit between 9 and 12. God bless. And then one of them bullets hit anyone in that truck, and that truck was packed. So we moved him to a hotel, moved him to get the stuff, we moved him, you know. And the next morning, it was like three cars kept hitting the, hitting the, hotel, hitting the lobby. I'm like, man, I see something right there. And come to find out, they finessed some guys that was there some money. Whatever that went down with some lean or whatever it was, they was in a lot. They was in the lobby circling the hotel looking for whoever was in that entourage. So we messed up, went downstairs. <laughs> like, you know, once we seen our present, they said we want a budget. We do real. We, we ain't doing Twitter fingers. It's real life. I respected it the day I picked it up because I knew this is, this is a culture. The music that our generation listens to now is influenced through drugs. Since 96 to now, the world has really evolved and really changed. When I started, the most things out there was weed and that all. When I started doing these younger artists, I'm starting to see pills, perk, sand, lean, all on different entities. I'm like, whoa. And I see some, I had to learn, some was uppers, some was downers. So I'm, I was adjusting too at the same time. Lean, also known as scissor, purple drink, bar, mud, activist, and high tech, is a mixture of prescription strength promethazine and codeine cough syrup. It's a liquid drug that slows the body down. Um, it actually de deteriorates your brain and the inside. I was told that it's liquid coating mixed with a sweetener, so they used a, a phantom pop, I believe, phantom pop, and a Jolly Rancher for the sweetness or something, you know, and it's a downer. Famous Dex has a lean problem. He's had that problem for years, and to be honest, everybody probably should have known. I've seen a, a lot of studio sessions where engineers are pissed. I mean, pissed when Dex so high he nods off and he'll he'll be sleeping five or six hours so the engineer he just sitting there with like nothing to do 
I mean, the truth is, everything you do is because it's cool. Like, that's that's just how it is. That's what makes hip-hop cool, right? Everybody want to be like their favorite rapper. They want to have a lot of money. They want to have sex with all the beautiful women. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what made all this stuff cool. If everybody said, rapped about school, everybody finna go to school because that's what's cool. So, yeah, lean is definitely what's cool. But at the age of 12, 13, when a lot of people even start doing lean, are you even? is your mind even developed enough to even know what type of drugs you really putting in your system? Lean seems to be everywhere. The drug is mentioned in over 30% of rap songs that reached the top 10 of Billboard's Hot 100 in 2017. I learned that being with these young artists, like the different things that this world has added on to entertainment. Everybody start acting different, money involved. Like, it's just real hard to cope with things, so you fall to drugs. And drugs are addictive. And you just do it, do it, do it, do it till you die. Man, you had an incident where you kind of passed out? I, I ain't never had a pass out on my show. Never? Hell no. I just be, I just be, listen guys, I just be having fun. I'm a crazy dude. I'm crazy. I ain't gonna pass up on my shows. Me and Dex lost a, a few people. Not even just Juice World. Not even like Fredo Santana. We like actually lost real people and it's over 10 people to drug abuse. First thing to come to my mind, me just being a human being, Santana, a little peep. Mac Miller, and we all done showed with these guys. So it just make you see, like, if it can happen to them, it can happen to you. You know, once I heard about the, the Juice World incident, it was, a, we, it, was a, it was a day of rolling wild when we was, that he had headline. He was headlining it before we was doing some more and all that yeah. Real talk, bro. Talking to my fans, come on me down. Man. That scene when he had his episode, he was doing a show with Rich the Kid and Jay Critch. I think they was in New York. So the next morning I seen it online. Instantly hit his manager. He was going on something before. We was in New York at Quad Studio. And I had to literally pick him up sometime and put him on my shoulder. I just tell him, like, bro, man, that shit ain't, dang, it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Like anything that strong or if make you feel that good, it probably ain't no good for you, you know what I'm saying? So, and when it started just really getting crazy and when they tell me he had the seizure, you know what I'm saying? I really like set him down and just, you know, just pour my heart out to him. I actually, like, I really cried to him like, bro, man, man, I don't want to lose you. We tried to take him to rehab, Malibu. Beautiful rehab, beautiful, right on the beach. He stayed for like four days. And Got out of there. I'm like, bro, what you doing? Wiz, everybody was chiming in. Trey songs, Wiz. Though he was in there for the days, he doing better, you no know, going on walks, working out a little bit. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. People don't really try to give Dexter credit. He, yeah, he, he moved to LA and he tried to do better, you know what I'm saying? And drugs, all that stuff, it's always been an issue before he got money. You know, he's a fun person, so you'll gravitate to him. You like him, he joke, goofy, silly. So a lot of artists like him, but. It's like, it's been times where he been on that so bad. He had, he broke me down one day. When you been to position, I'm banging on the room door and nothing. I get the security guy in the room, the hotel to open the door. You just. Lean killing us. Perks killing us. If I, I tell my friends, if I see y'all with a style for a cup, you can't even trick me. You better have a glass cup in your hand. I'm knocking out your hand. Fight me. Oh, we ain't killing us, guys. This shit killing us, man. Hot, ooh, hot, 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 hot. Pull up in a, in a, pull up in a what? Self in the kitchen. Oh, man, yeah. Pull up in a billion, yeah, it's cooped out. We on the scene right now, me and Bobby, video shoot, cooped out. So. Yeah, yeah. Hot flex. Um, shout out to my team, 300NT. My name is Dexter, by the way. Uh, the real one. Yeah, I do the best. You know what? She want sex, but she give me neck. Hot. If she on top, being good, down to the next. Let's go. He calmed down. No, he, he definitely calmed down. He was taking the caution of his health better. You know, like I told him, man, you know, your mom's still here. She's still watching you. You know, make her proud. That's the thing. Make her proud. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, right now. What's up, OG? She here.
See her all the time, man. Angel, my biggest weapon. Got him up. I want to show the world a different side of me. I want to show the world a story of me. So this is like young albums, it's a story. Him being one of the creators of the new way of not one of the top creators, he brought music together as a collective, like how SoundCloud rappers are, new beats, new everything like that. Dex set a wave. He set a wave of artists that came up from 2012 to now. You, you can name how many artists came from Chicago. We can go. Kanye, Common, Her, Chance, Juice, Dex, Polo. Like, you can go on, like, every year or two, we get a popping artist that control the culture. I always told Dex, man, from the moment we started, I said, bro, you a superstar. Like, you a superstar. You know what I'm saying? Dex can just maybe change the game. We like this, you know what I'm saying? Different. Them type of people don't come around and like that often. The people dream about being here in LA. He'll, he'll bring you here in a heartbeat. Two seconds. How you wanna be here? There's nothing. Let me show you something. My advice is to tell them to be a self. Be a king. Be proud of who you is. You don't gotta be there like nobody else. You don't have to be like Dexter. You don't have to be like nobody. You can be a lawyer too. Don't forget about that guy. You can be a doctor, you can change the world. Did we even thought about that? Don't just think because I'm doing this interview for music. No, I'm doing this for a message across the world to y'all. Y'all can do it. Just keep God first and keep watching the energy. It's it. That's all. And once you got that, everything, watch, watch that God just put things in place. Oh, it's, it's going to be fun. Like, at least. That's how much faith I got him. That boy is something, he's something else. I'm just happy to see him successful now. Damn, I ain't been doing lean in a long time. Why sound good? Man? <laughs> <laughs> I feel good, man. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel good, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's a, my body covered in diamonds, dude. I call my phone, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Clamp. Ha, ha. Whoa. Ooh, huh. yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. My diamonds. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. My in diamonds. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. My diamonds. Yeah. 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 Bitch, get off, get off. I got the money, yeah, the nigga salty. Huh? Hopping the ghost on the walk and cut. Sippin' that lit like it's coffee. Huh? Yeah, huh? wait, sippin' that lit like it's coffee. Yeah, huh? ooh, huh? yeah. Fuck a little bitch in the morning. Ooh, all the bitches steady callin'. Ooh, baby girl steady stalkin'. Ooh, huh? bitch, I'm ballin'. Huh? Yeah, bitch, I'm ballin'. Wait, huh? yeah, huh? my body covered in diamonds. Huh? Look at that AP is shining. Huh? Baby girl, stop crying. Huh? Ooh, huh? Remember them days I'm almost so broke. Yeah, can get it. Enough, what? I used to ride on the bus. Huh? I now I got a billy truck. I screw. Nah, huh? selling our shows. Ooh, fucking these hoes. Yeah. Who ain't about it like that snake, man? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing about Dex, and everybody know, I, I want to see you smile. Me, personally, I just want to see you smile. You. You, you, you. I want to see you smile. You looking at me, I want to see you smile. Because you can do it. Yeah. I want to say one thing. I want to say one thing. Who, who choose your hairstyle? Me. Oh, big girl. Oh, big girl. What I tell you in the first place, what you get from me, you get, what you get from me, you get from my mom. I'm a family man, man. Family first. And if you don't take care of your family, God is taking all that shit away from you. Quickie gave it to you. And blink of eye. Soon as you like this, open it up, it's gone.